let's talk about this absolute beauty of a lens. Why would you even watch it after I just told you it's a beauty? I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Watch this, you don't know if I hate it or not. The lens we're talking about today is the Canon RF 50mm f1.2 L USM lens. It's the nifty 50 and the most expensive version you can get. It's L glass, it goes down to 1.2. This is the very definition of a fast lens. Now, if you've been around this channel at all, you've probably seen my video about how I use the 50mm lens for everything. I am talking about using it on a full frame camera, so keep that in mind. Why do we love? a 50 millimeter lens. We love a 50 millimeter lens because it's like the average way that we see things so it captures it in a very natural looking way. It doesn't really manipulate like the compression feeling or any of that. And plus you can do everything with a 50. You can shoot details. Apparently you could flip it around and shoot macro. You can shoot portraits or families or groups or landscapes. There's so much you can do with just a 50 millimeter lens, which is one of the reasons it gets a little nickname, the Nifty 50. But let's talk about this lens in particular. This lens is super fast focusing. Of course, when you pair it with a great camera like the Canon R5, you have your auto focus, your manual focus, you have your control ring. Now this control ring, it's got the stops, so it's not super smooth. So some people like to know that personally for me, I actually don't usually set the control ring. If I set the control ring, it's usually do the white balance, but I find I just get too handsy and I move it around way too much to create any kind of consistency that I need on a professional shoot. But a lot of people really enjoy that control ring. It is a great tool. Now the maximum aperture is 1.2. So you're going to be able to get that very fine tuned depth of field, very shallow depth of field, focus on one eyelash and not on the other. And you know, when you're shooting with newer autofocus gear, you're going to be able to shoot at 1.2 and get it right on the eyeball, which is great. You're also going to be able to get that blurry background that everybody loves that bokeh, that bouquet. This lens has a minimum aperture of f16, which is classic of a fast lens. It goes down to 1.6, so it's not going to go all the way up to f22. So keep that in mind. If you really like shooting at f22, this lens is not for you. It's an RF mount, so it's going to be used with Canon mirrorless cameras only. The angle of view is 46 degrees and the filter size here is 77 millimeters. The minimum focusing distance is 1.31 feet. Okay, a little over one foot. But you know, if you use the Canon R5 and do that 1.6 crop, you're gonna get pretty close in there, which is gonna be nice. The optical design in the middle is 15 elements with nine groups. We're getting down to the nitty gritty here about this lens and it's a 10 blade aperture. So you're gonna get really nice, smooth bokeh in the background. It's not the lightest lens in the world. If you want a light 50 millimeter, you will probably like the RF 50 millimeter 1.8. This is a little bit over two pounds. You would actually like that price better. That one's only 179. This one's uh, $22.99, I believe, at the time of this recording. But at $22.99, you know this thing is a workhorse and you will be able to, like I say, shoot everything with a 15 millimeter. Before we get any further in this video, let me tell you about this video sponsor, Squarespace. I have been using Squarespace for probably over a decade. Squarespace is a platform where you can create beautiful custom websites in just a few minutes. Choose from a plethora of templates where you can easily plug and play your own work. It's an all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. We all know that an online presence is crucial for your brand, so build one that stands out. Head over to this link for my exclusive 10% discount on your first domain at Squarespace. Now back to the video. Personally, I have really enjoyed shooting weddings and portraits with this, but I would be remiss if I didn't tell you that I usually don't bring this with me on weddings anymore. And I usually don't bring it with me on weddings anymore because I bring the love of my life instead the Canon 20 to 70 F2. Now think about it. This is a $3,000 lens. I just told you this was 2300. Yes, this goes down to 1.2, so there is something to that, but this goes down to F2 and that's pretty darn close, especially in your client size. This one zooms 
28 to 70 this one does not just some things to think about so that's what I have to say about the RF 50 millimeter 1.2 LUSM lens let me know what you think of this lens if you've ever used it before of course it's a beautiful crisp clean lens lots of color no flare you know all the things you get with a really good L series lens you get it with this one hit like subscribe ring the bell see you next time I hope you're enjoying this video and I have something absolutely free for you if you head down to the links below you'll see a lot of educational content but you will also see a download for a free preset this is a Lightroom preset that I use very frequently for my same-day edits and my photos and I call it green to yellow you can grab that in the link below 